some focus on the ugly of the world. But it's so much better to see the beauty. From the humble beginnings of Haitian slaves to the freedom of their souls, after decades of struggle, the Independence Republic of Haiti was officially proclaimed in 1804. So to me, Haitian Flag Day is a point of pride. It's a reminder that Haiti was the first black republic in the Western Hemisphere, uh, the product of an uprising, a revolt of enslaved Africans. And it's a reminder of my own heritage as a first generation Haitian American uh, to remember that it is possible to be free. It is possible to fight for your freedom and I'm very proud of that legacy and I try to live up to what the flag stands for in everything that I do. Uh, what I love about Haitian culture is, well, number one is the food. Like if you wanna introduce anybody with the Haitian culture, you gotta start with the food first. I mean, we could go into history. The history is huge, we're, we're unique in that. But the food though, is is what like changes the game because you know there's people out there claiming they got like you know good rice but there haven't been one country yet that can mess with that jew yeah john john some people love the cuisine and for other people it's about the music and for others it's our chill island uh way of life uh for me it's all about the art uh, I've spent the last 30 years um, promoting Haitian art to the people of Los Angeles and beyond. And um, I mean, Haiti is the, is the biggest source of black art in the world, or at least one of them. And I think even the Los Angeles Times called us a nation of artists. We may have a lot of issues in Haiti, but we kick ass in the arts. I mean, Haiti, art is pervasive in Haiti. It is everywhere, and you can't go to Haiti without bringing back a lot of art. It's, it's just extraordinary. Uh, Haitian Flag Day means a lot to me because, number one, growing up in Haiti, um, that was one of the most beautiful days when we would go to school. Everywhere was decorated, especially in the capital. You would see like, like, like literally strings of flags all over town. And it was just, you know, just beautiful. And When I think about Jean-Jacques Dessalines, I think about somebody who is a revolutionary. And when people think about him in negative terms, they're thinking about him in the context of violence. But to think about that, we have to also think about the context in which this revolution was fought, right? So Haitians, uh, enslaved Africans were brought to the island under colonial powers. And so they were rebelling against slavery. They were rebelling against oppression. They were rebelling against the violence that was imposed on them. And sometimes that means that you have to respond with violence. We stand. Because we stand on the mountaintops we are named for, Haiti. Le Pearl des Antilles, the richest in history and culture. We stand. We stand 
Stand up together for l'union, for la fosse, for all the babies who didn't survive, for all the fathers who gave their lives, for all the mothers who still give birth because they knew what it was worth to create Haitian kings and queens because that's who we be. It's our legacy. L'union fait la force. L'union fait la force. L'union fait la force.